My name is Thomas O'Toole and I'm the Zoology Supervisor here at Springs Reserve. Now we have a number of conservation projects here on property and out in our natural areas you can follow the trails and visit many of these sites. Now one of these trails leads through our 15 acre desert tortoise habitat. And this was a project we worked on with staff from the Desert Conservation Program and we opened it up in the fall of 2015. Now monitoring is a big part of our role here on property and maintaining the natural areas. Observations are crucial for that and that includes observations of both the animals and their corresponding areas. And one way we do that is each tortoise is fitted with a transmitter and that gives staff the ability to track the animals out on property. This is especially useful when we're trying to do animal wellness exams with our veterinarians. In addition, we also use wildlife cameras to capture photos and videos of activity out in the habitat. For example, we'll use this technology to capture the moment that Mojave Max emerges from his burrow in the spring. Uh, desert tortoise habitat is a great way for us to share conservation and natural history information about this unique species. And for more on that, I'll pass it along to another member of the zoology team. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm one of the zoologists here at the Springs Preserve, and I'd like to talk with you a little bit more about Nevada's state reptile, the desert tortoise. Desert tortoises are found in both the Sonoran and the Mojave Desert. Their range includes not only Nevada, but also California, Arizona, and Utah. Desert tortoises are herbivores, which means that they eat only plant materials. In the wild, that would be things like grasses, flowers, cactus pads, and cactus fruits. The type of habitat that they live in can vary widely, but what is always necessary is good soil for digging burrows. Desert tortoises can spend up to 95% of their time underground in their burrow, and they may have multiple burrows within their home range. Burrows provide protection not only from predators, but also from the extreme temperatures we have here in the desert. Tortoises use their strong front claws to dig burrows that are four to six feet deep and up to eight feet long, providing a temperature break of up to 20 degrees from the surface temperature. Another way tortoises survive extreme temperatures in the desert is by brumating through the winter. Brumation is reptile form of hibernation. But brumation and hibernation differ in that reptiles in brumation may emerge on warmer days where uh, mammals in hibernation generally stay asleep in their den the entire winter long. Desert tortoises are amazingly well adapted to living here in the arid southwest. Their bladders act as canteens, storing water as they find it, allowing them to survive times of drought. When the rainy days arrive, they will find a shallow pool in the hard dirt and drink their fill. This ability to store water in their bladder is one of the reasons we remind everyone that if they see a wild tortoise, they should look with their eyes only and not pick them up. A tortoise's natural defense mechanism to a perceived threat is to evacuate their bladder or urinate all over you, which is gross for you, but it can be potentially life-threatening for the tortoise if they're unable to find a a source of water to replenish their store. Desert tortoises are phenomenal desert survivors and they're one of our very favorites here at the Springs Reserve. <laughs>